a cemetery in southern Tunisia for migrants who drowned crossing the Mediterranean in the hope for a better life in Europe is already half full even before it is formally opened. Many of them drowned after boarding flimsy and overloaded boats while facing extortion from gangsters and terrorists. A majority of the youth left by sea to Europe. We had losses of dead Zazicians. These migrants remind us of our children. It is a lot of life that they lost here. And a lot of people wanted to go to Europe and could not make it. Many people, their families now, they are looking for them, not knowing they are dead. So seeing these graves make me feel very sad. Tunisia neighboring Libya are key departure points for migrants, many from sub-Saharan Africa who attempt the dangerous crossing from northern African coast to Europe, particularly Italy. This is not science fiction, given what the sea brings, what the marine currents bring here, it is clear that this cemetery will be saturated in a short time. We're managing with the means at hand and we hope that after the inauguration of the last cemetery, we will be able to discuss with UNESCO and the international movement, especially with Europe. Many of those buried there remain nameless for now and the headstones bear grim and scant information about them. DNA analyses have been carried out on some of the bodies with hope that your families might find them someday.